channel and if you're new here welcome my name is Amber I do unboxings and tonight we're going to be doing an unboxing well an unbagging of March's Ipsy sorry I did a boxy Lux boxing last night and I'm still on boxy Lux because it was great but tonight we're going to be doing Ipsy for those of you who don't know Ipsy is a $10 a month subscription you get five travel size items well some miniature some travel size I've had gotten a few full size items but usually those are just brushes and lipsticks and lip glosses and whatnot but most of it's just travel size or miniature and you get a cute makeup bag every single month so we're gonna get into that I have my six year old with me here again today say hi Emma hi. Her. she's gonna be handing me the products so first I'm gonna show you the bag and then I'm gonna hand it back to her and she's gonna hand me the products this month the bag is rose gold with a cute little purplish blue star on it and it's embroidered and it says and off she went to change the world I think it's super cute it's pink on the inside the little star says ipsy and this month's theme is Just says it's it's National Women's History Month. This is what the card looks like. They just started doing this where it tells you all about the products and gives you little tips on how to use them, which I think is really cool because it used to be just a little card that had a theme and some few words, but it has a bunch of stuff here and some stuff here, but we're not going to get into that because I just want to show you guys the products. So the first product I'm going to talk about is... This. It's a uh, Sand and Sky Australian pink clay mask. It's for uh, purifying and detoxifying and brightening. So this is what that looks like. And it says about it, the brand was founded by sisters who share a passion for using rare Australian ingredients in skincare made with light pink Australian clay. This mask tightens pores, nicks excess oils, and leaves your skin feeling so smooth. And then it gives you a tip on how to wear it. It says apply an even layer all over your clean skin, let it sit for 10 minutes. It says you might feel a little tingle, but it's normal. And then gently rinse off with warm water and pat your skin dry. And it's just... Oops, I dropped it. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that. It's just... A typical clay mask. I love masks so I'm pretty excited to try that and I heard a lot of good things about pink Australian clay. So the next product we're going to talk about is this Lottie London highlighter. I took it out of the box already so I don't have the box with me but um, it's in the shade Good Girl. It says Insta Beauty Addict Lottie London is inspired by the vloggers, bloggers, and street cycle stars you love from Instagram. The champagne highlighter finds your best light. The ultra blendable powder formula goes on evenly to give you an out of this world glow, no filter required. And then it tells you to take a fluffy brush and highlight the parts of you, like the high end parts of your face, your cheekbone, your cupid's bow, your nose. It's actually a pretty good size pan and it pops out. I don't, I'm not sure if it's magnetic, so I'm not sure if it can go. I'm pretty sure it is, but it pops out so it can go into a Z palette. So I'll give that a little swatch for you guys. You can see a little gleam. It's a pretty color. I'll wear it. So that's that. And the next product we're going to talk about is this eyeshadow. It's from Space Case in the shade Messy Lock Nessie. This is hilarious. It was, you could either get this one or a purple one. Um, this four screen shade with gold flex can be applied wet or dry with your finger or a brush. It's highly pigmented, goes on like butter, and wears for hours without creasing. Plus, like all Space Cake eyeshadows, it's cruelty free, which is great. And then it gives you a tip about using your finger or use a damp and gold eyeshadow brush to smudge it under your lash line. So, I was just recently talking about doing a St. Patrick's Day eye look on my channel and I went through my palettes and I only had one green so now I have two so that might happen. It's very smooth like it said, very buttery, very pigmented, very very pretty. I like this a lot. So that is that. The next product we are going to talk about is... Is this magnetic? Um no, it's just a lip gloss. Oh. Is this... Ciante London Lip Luster in the shade Kiss Me. 
Now this is a lip gloss and I've talked, I keep dropping stuff, I'm sorry guys. Okay, I'm back. Um, it's a Ciate London Mini Lip Lustre and Kiss Me. It says the mo of this British beauty brand is using makeup ticks. Express your inner beauty and we're always down for that. This vitamin E infused gloss is non-sticky, silky smooth and creates a sheer wash of pretty pink color you can layer to deepen the shade. I've talked about lip glosses on my channel before. I really don't care for them so if it actually is not sticky I'll be pretty happy with it. The tip says use this beauty to extend the life of your lippies, just swipe some on over your favorite matte shades to transform them into glosses. It's just a light pink gloss with some sparkle. It doesn't have a smell. It's just some light pink and if it's sticky it'll end up going to my daughter because I will not use it. You can't really see it. It's right there though. It kind of feels sticky on the back of my hand but then again the back of my hand is a lot different than my lips so we'll have to give that a try and find out. And the last product I have to talk about is the Man Eater Mascara by Tarte. I've heard a lot of good things about this just like the Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara which is amazing by the way. But it's the Tarte Man Eater Voluptuous Mascara. It says Tarte's committed to creating products that are cruelty free and made with good for you ingredients. This inky black formula features a flexible brush that coats your teeniest lashes. Jehovah and Carabin Wax strengthens and protects your lashes and helps prevent flaking. And then it tells you to coat your mascara wand and go in zigzag motions up your lashes to get them fully coated. The wand, I haven't had a mascara that has this wand before. So, hopefully it works nice. I have a ton of mascaras that are open already, but I kind of like bounce between different ones every single day. So, that's cool that I got that. The only thing that it doesn't show on this card is retail prices, mainly because they're not full size. So, But I am proud of Ipsy that they're actually showing and talking about the products now. So... Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. That link will be in the description below. Is there anything you want to say? Give us a huge thumbs up. Just like you said, and we'll see you guys next video. Bye. Bye.